look, you have to make a lot of decisions when you go cruising, what cruise ship you're going to go on to, what time you're going to eat dinner, what excursions you're going to do, are you going to see the comedy show? It's all decisions all the time, but I'm going to tell you, maybe the most important decision is, is what cruise souvenir you're going to pick up. How's your souvenir game? We'll talk about it right after this. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Tony with La Lita Loco. Welcome to the YouTube channel. If you're into cruising, consider hitting the subscribe button with the notification bell on. We're going to give it all to you. Cruise ships, cruise tips, cruise news, cruise vlogs. Uh, hit the subscribe and track along with us. We're right in the middle of a special series, one cruise tip a day for 31 days, counting up to our cruise on the Carnival Breeze, and it's, uh, it's audience participation. Leave your comment below on the tip of the day, and we're gonna pick one comment a day. We're gonna pin it to the top of the video, and we're gonna draw a comment out of those 31 at the end of the series and give away a Carnival Breeze prize pack. So play along. So when I think about cruise souvenirs, I like to put them in two categories. I like to put them in just your standard souvenir category, and I like to put them in your ship only category. I'm going to quickly run through some standards, and then I'm going to give you four of my favorite ship only souvenirs. To me, standards are things like magnets, shot glasses, coffee mugs, spoons, thimbles, ashtrays. These are souvenirs that you can pick up in almost any gift shop, souvenir shop that you run into. Now we do have a favorite standard. We collect magnets from each of the ports that we go to, and we've been trying to pick up magnets if they have them on the cruise ship that are specific to the cruise ship. So we've got magnets on our refrigerator. It's quickly filling up, and I envision at some point just getting a piece of sheet metal, maybe putting a frame around it, and having a big framed magnet wall, which seems very cool. It's, uh, it motivates me to go to more places, and it also motivates me to remember to pick up magnets. We didn't start the magnet collecting right away. Our first cruise port was Key West, Florida. We didn't even think about it. But fortunately, somebody sent us a Key West magnet. So oh, I think we have a magnet from every port stop that we've been to, which is exciting. So let's talk ship specific. I'm going to save my favorite to the last. It's actually cool because it's free. So stay tuned for that. But I'm also going to start off with a free one. I don't want to tease you with a free one and not give you a free one. This is a, a great free souvenir. It's your ship card. Uh, it's going to be very specific, not only to you, but also the sailing and uh, we've kept all of our ship cards from all of our cruises. We haven't done anything fancy with them yet, but I've seen people that make displays out of their ship card. But I tell you what, just holding the ship card for the MSC Seaside brings back a flood of memories and it's, uh, it's really a great souvenir to hold on to. Of course, they give these to you when you get on. Now, some of the new ships, uh, they're using a medallion system, something like a wearable, and those will be collectible too. So uh, remember to keep your medallions or your ship cards, and it's a nice free reminder of your cruise. Number two is ship models. Almost every cruise ship has some sort of ship model, whether it's made out of ceramics or porcelain or carved. Uh, you can find a ship model. They're, sometimes they're pricey, so I don't collect ship models, but I couldn't pass this one up. On the MSCC side, they had a version of their ship in Lego. And so this is the, you can only get it on the seaside. This is the Lego version of the MSCC side. I haven't opened it and built it yet, but I do believe that this will have a place on my shelf. Uh, and so ship model is a very cool, um, ship specific souvenir that you can get. Number three is prize swag. So if you participate in the trivia contest or get called up on stage, you're normally gonna get some sort of prize swag. And for me, of the four cruise lines that we've been on, nobody does prize swag better than Carnival Cruise Lines. They have two things that are really unique to Carnival, which I really like to collect. The first one is the medallion. Now they just recently changed to this Welltel medallion. It's almost like what they give for participation or for second place. But uh, these new medallions, the first ones used to be like uh, plastic. Uh, they look like gold medals. But this one is a nice metal uh, colored. It's got uh, Choose Fun engraved on the back or in, imprinted on the back. The only challenge with this is they don't tell you what ship that it comes from. Uh, this is the only one I have, so I know that it came from our cruise on the Carnival Elation. I got this doing karaoke with my friend Joe, and so uh, I, I just have to remember that. But if I get a second one, I'm going to have to find some way to say, okay, the, this one was from the Elation, and this one was from the next ship. Uh, I love that. And then to me, the gold plastic standard for cruise prize swag would be the Carnival ship on a stick. 
This is from our very first cruise on the Carnival Fantasy, holding it in my hands. I remember very vividly winning this for Scategories. I won Scategories and I won this trophy. I have won from every Carnival cruise ship that we've been on. They've just redone the actual ship on a stick and so the new trophies are different and so now I'm on a quest to get more ships on a stick. We are going on the Carnival Breeze in about a month and fingers crossed that I will be able to win a ship on a stick. But uh, again, cruise prize swag, pretty cool. And my favorite cruise souvenir is a, a, a specific picture. And I didn't know to take it on my first cruise. Uh, it was only after we started the La Lita Loca cruising community that our friends Roy and Amanda Shows turned us on to this idea of every cruise ship has life preservers that are branded with the cruise name and uh, really where they're, they're registered. And so a great cruise picture is to hold up the life preserver with your honey or by yourself and take a picture. It's such a moment in time. There's no other way that you can get it other than being on the cruise ship. And it really makes for a great picture. Uh, we haven't printed these out yet, but I could see printing these out and having a spot where you could recognize each ship that you've been on because of the life preserver. It's a really cute picture and it's free and I really like it. We did make a whole video on specific pictures you should take on a cruise ship and this was one of them. I'll recommend that video to you. It's going to be linked above or in the description below. But uh, it's interesting, the souvenirs that you can pick up for free with just your camera. And let me just close out with that. Always take pictures, take some video just for you. Make sure that you're in the video because uh, that's really going to make the memory more special. If you can see yourself or you can see your loved one in the video interacting in the uh, cruise environment, it's... Look, every time I watch one of these videos, I get very nostalgic and very sentimental because I remember the things that Jenny and I got to do together and the things we got to do with friends and family. And it's it's such a blessing to be able to go cruising, to take vacations and, and to make memories. I know it could be a little cheesy, but uh, there is something really tangible and emotional that happens with these souvenirs and these memories. So make some memories take some pictures, get some souvenirs. The question for the comments is this, what is your favorite cruise souvenir? What do you do? We didn't even touch on unique things that you could get at port. Leave a tip, leave a comment below. Let's continue the conversation. Thanks for stopping by. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Again, subscribe if you're interested. Follow us on social media. This is Tony with La Lido Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.